Hello guys, it is Kento from the Realm of the Geek, and I would first like to apologize for the low quality of the video yesterday, which was super late night, I was super tired, and my main PC is currently down, so for the next few videos, this will be how the videos are. But thank you for 72 subscribers, that is amazing. Um, you may have noticed I did change the font for the Frosted Spinner, and I did add the Text Shadow, so I'll show you how to do that now. I also imported the... Um, jQuery minimum, and yeah. So I did the font style by downloading the correct font. I got it sent by Mr. Frosted Tricks himself, and then I set the font family, and then I added a text shadow of two pixels wide, and I just set that by going negative two pixels, negative two, and as you can see here, that's good. That's how it's supposed to be. So if you'd like to learn more, just comment down in the comment section. I'll try and do a video about it more in depth. But for now, Let's get into creating the amazing timer. So pretty much right now, this button does oops, sorry, this button does nothing currently. So let's fix that up now. Okay, so what we're going to start out doing is making sure we have the timer script imported, which we do. Make sure that's below the jQuery minimum as well. It's very important. So we're first going to set a variable of t for time, and then let's make the timeout 30 seconds. So we'll say var t equals 30. We'll break up a few lines and say document dot ready and then we're going to say function and there and make sure to add our semicolon first or else we'll get lost we'll never find it again um, but yeah okay so now um, since we added this div called id start or not div sorry this id called start in the button we don't have to have any on click things. let's just say um, money sign and then start oops, sorry start dot click and we'll say function and again do the same thing as we did up top a black up top <laughs> and break up the line and now we're gonna say if I'm sorry we're going to say var s time so start timer equals set interval and then we're going to do um, the same exact thing, so function, and boom. Alright, now we're going to break up a few lines, and we're going to say, if t does not equal 0, then continue. And let's add it else, so that way we can come back to that in a few. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to say document dot, um, and actually, let's do this. Let's do money sign, and then get the element name, so that would be time, well, I don't know why I put a money sign, sorry, um, so time, and then inner, oops, inner HTML equals T plus, and then quotes, nothing in the quotes, just quotes, you need them, okay, so now that that is done, what we are going to do is we're going to say T equals T minus one, I know there's an easier way of doing that, I just like doing it that way. So now, as you can see, if we go in here, reload the page, and hit start. I'm sorry, wow. <laughs> uh, that was a fail, just don't worry about that. We need to go down to the bottom of our function, and then say comma, and then 1000 for one second. Reload, once we hit start, hopefully. I think I may have put it on the wrong line. Okay, so sorry about that. Um. Instead of doing the money sign and then the ID, there was something incorrect with that statement, so I'm going to retract that and say document dot get element by ID and then time because in here we added let me find the time, yep, time P I D equals time and that equals thirty. Technically we don't even need to put that thirty there, but you know, we'll keep it because why not? So now that this is all good we can go to test this by hitting start and after a second, see that it starts to count down perfectly. But once it hits zero, it will not do anything. It'll just keep going minus, minus, minus. Well, it actually won't. It'll just stop, you know. So now what we're going to do is we're going to say um, t equals 30 in our else statement. And then document dot get element by id. And then use time again. Dot inner html equals t plus and then brackets, not brackets, um, quotes. Now we're going to alert the person, the user saying, uh, the response timer is up, please pick a new uh, user. 
And now that is done, we can say clear interval and then S time. So now, as you can see, it's going to hit zero now. So this is all that would happen with this current spinner. So if we reload, hit start, and then wait 30 seconds. Let me actually reduce this time real quick just for ease of use of uh, video purposes. So let's do half a second. So now, as you can see, it's counting down really fast. <laughs> so if you wanted 30 seconds to be 15 seconds in reality, then that's what you'd do. But yeah, this is a super simple way of doing this timer. And you know, it's the bare minimum, and I think that's all we really need. So now as you can say, uh, response timer's up, please pick a new user, and response timer gets set back to 30. So you can keep on hitting start, and it'll keep on counting down. So yeah, um, I think that'll do it for this video. Um, in the next one, we're going to add a, s well, hmm. comment down below if you think we should add a stop button, or, you know what, I don't think we need a stop, ooh, what was that? Alright, so yeah, comment down below if you think we should have a stop button, because if you do, I will add one, but I don't personally think we need one. Worst case scenario, he just clicks OK and then continues on reviewing the same person. So yeah, we're going to keep that for now, just as a start button. So in the next video, we're going to be doing users in the spinner, so just be able to add a name here, and then it will add it to the list. And then after that, we will be doing the spinner itself. So I'm not sure still if it will be an actual spinner or some other way, I'll maybe a twist on it or something, but yeah, I'm going to try and do a spinner. If that doesn't work, then I will go back and try something else. So yeah, thank you all so very much for watching this, and thank Kento for your Geek, and I'll see you all right back here tomorrow.